Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back once again to Witness Fashion TV. My name is Chimwe. I'm so sorry for the long holiday. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've not been able to upload videos in a while. It's due to some circumstances beyond my control. I sincerely apologize for any inconvenience that may cause you my subscribers but i'm here now and i'm so happy to be here i hope we are all doing great so my lovelies in today's tutorial we are going to be taking a look at how to cut and sew this beautiful gown with side ruffles and ostrich feathers with a unique neckline so i'm going to be showing us step by step on how we are going to be cutting and stitching this gown so please, if today is your first time of joining us on this channel, you are so very welcome. Please do stay with us to the end of this video. And I promise you, it will be worth your time. And if you are a returning subscriber, I so much love you and appreciate your time with us. May God bless you. So my people, let's go straight into today's tutorial. I'm so happy and I can't wait. Let's go there. So these are the materials I need to sew this gown. This is a crepe fabric, fisher pink. I have three yards here. This is ostr ostrich feathers. I have two yards. I have my pin. I have my tape. I have my chalk. I have my rulers and I have my scissors. So let's go straight into the cutting. So here, what I'm doing is I'm marking the basic for cutting a gown. This is the basic that I'm drawing out. The bust to the waist, the waist to the hip, then the hip to the full length of this gown. I use the her long length, which is 60. So by the time I gather it to get to the length that I want. Then the next thing I'll be marking is the neck for my shoulder, connects my armholes. So I'll cut out this first piece. Then I will fold another fabric, mark out my one inch for zipper allowance because this will be the back that's what i'm doing here after marking it out i will connect it with my rulers connecting it with my rulers i will place the first piece that we cut which is the front piece on it and so that i'll be able to cut this back piece but when i'm placing it i will stop on before the one inch that i mark there so why I'm doing this is in order to save our time. This is the basic, that's just the basic, the bust, the waist, the hip, and the full length. So to save our time, so that we're going to the main business of the day. So just watch closely. You understand what I did here. It's very simple. It's just the basic gown drawing and cutting that I did here. So I'll play, I'll keep this aside and come and work on our front neck. So this is our front. Work on the neck. I will remove all my pins and then open it up. So that's what I'm doing. So remove all the pins. Then I hope this will be nice for this neck. I'll open it up. So from this part, I'll come to this way. I'll go in from here by two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. I hope you can see it. I'll mark it down. After marking it, I'll determine how deep I want the neck to be on this part. So I'll be doing this 
I have, I'll mark it on this part. So this is where my six and a half ends. Okay. So the connection now is this will go. I'll connect this from here all the way back to this place. And then I'll connect this one back to this point. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is, I came in, I came down from here by six and a half inches. I determine how many inches I want to have left on this part. I want to have like two inches at the end of the day. So I do two and a half because I'll be using half inch to join the slit. So I mark the two and a half here, this way, six and a half, two and a half. Then the next work is I will use my ruler and connect from this point of our neck straight down to this place like this. So I'll connect from here now this way in my straight ruler. Just watch what I'm doing, you understand. My straight ruler back to this place. Can you see what I have there at the end of the game? Then the next thing now I will still connect from this point again back to my neck yes so i'll go this way now i'll put my chalk like this and like this then i'll connect from there so if we cut it now this is how what our neck is going to look like so that's why you must not close you must not close your clothes when you're shaving because if you close and shake, you cut nonsense. <laughs> so the clothes must be open like this. After you have gotten the wideness you want, because the back and the front must ride in wideness. Then you went this way to this way. So you just do your connection. Then I'm going to be cutting this out now. Another thing you can do on this part, if you don't want this place to be too sharp, is to use your armhole curve and place it here and place back like this. Place it like this. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing. So you can be creative here. So you can decide to do this. See that this one came in small and this one is straight. So you can decide to be creative here. Even some people will want to draw something like, like this. So it's whatever you draw here, you cut it. The main cocoa is to follow the zigzag. So it's whatever you draw here that you cut. I'm going with this one. I don't want it to be too sharp. So I'll be working this one next thing now is just to go ahead and cut this out stop there then i'll continue from here so, that's how you see it. The next thing is to go ahead and cut the facing. We're going to be cutting the facing that we're going to be using to turn this neck. And then we go and join the shoulder out. Taking us step by step by step. I'm not cutting the casing. So if I want to sew it now, I'll sew like this. Then turn it. 
So after pinning it for joining, the next thing is to measure what I have on my armhole so that I can use it to cut the sleeve down. So what I have here is 10 inches, so I will use it to cut my sleeve. so guys this is the rope what we use to sew the rope that will be inserting on the casing by the side to form our ruffles when we get there you understand it's one and a half inches width then the length that i need is 31 so i have like 60 something here i'll just cut it to what i the length that i need so this is the casing for the back so the first thing I'm going to be doing on this close now is to go and turn all the neck with their facing. This one too. I've cut the facing for it. I'll go and turn the neck for the front, for the back with facing. Then the front one too that we cut. We go ahead. This is the facing too here. So I'll first of all go and turn all the neck with facing. Turn the back. Then after turning their necks with their facing, I will join the shoulders together. I will go ahead and join this shoulder, the back shoulder to the front shoulder. The same thing. I will do it and come and show us. So the next thing I'm going to be doing on this machine before. So this I is the two shoulders. I've joined the two of them together. Sleeve. I'll go ahead and join my sleeve. So these are the sleeves. I'll go ahead and attach it to where it's up. I've joined the sleeves to the bodies. You can see. I've joined this sleeve. I've joined this other sleeve to, to this side. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be hemming the last part of this sleeve. I'll do half and one. I'm going to get on this side. Put it on the machine and sew it up. So the next thing is to attach our ostrich feathers. So I'm marking the inches that I need to attach it. I'll be using two inches and one inches respectively for the first layer and for the second layer. I'll sew this sleeve finish. And then I'll probably do the same thing on the second sleeve. I'll finish it up and then I'll show so, us. Can you see? We have joined the feathers to the two sleeves. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to close the side. So I'm going to be closing it like this. I'm going to be closing it like this. And then join the side together. I'll pin these two angle together. Then the side the whole side. This the side. So I'm going to be joining the side. Starting from here. Starting from this hand. I'll join the side with one is sewing allowance all the way to the down part. So this is what I'm going to be sewing. To the down. So exactly what I've done here is what I'm going to do on the other side too. So I'll finish it up and come and show. Join the side. So there. Like this. So you can see that I've not joined the back at all. The back is still open it's for a reason. I've joined this side. And I've joined this. So the next thing I'm going to be doing on this place now is to weave it i'm going to be weaving it one one i will not weave it together like this no i'll open it i will be one one because i'll be using this to create the casing 
where the rope would be. I'll weave it first of all, then I'll come and explain to us what I mean by creating the casing when I take it to the machine. So like I told us, because of the style we are sewing, I weaved the, I did the weaving one one. I opened it. I didn't weave it like this. I opened it and weave. So the next thing to do on this clothes is to attach our rope. So the next thing is to attach our rope. And to attach our rope, the rope I will open up this place like this. That's the reason I did not join the back yet, the zipper. So I'll open up my foot this way, like this. This is where my waist is falling. So I'll come down by like three inches. I'll come down by three inches. I'll mark it like this. So as I open it up this way, this way I mark my three inches, some line. I'll open it up like this, and then I'm going to be sewing, attaching this like this on the body. I'm going to open it like this, and then I will sew all the way down. Like this, I'm be creating the casing. The casing will now be inside where our rope. I'm gonna have to sew the rope and turn it out the way I showed you. So this is the, my rope. And the length of this rope that I'm using is 30 inches. It's the two ropes that are here. I'll divide it into two. I have 30, 30 inches. And use half inch to sew from here to here. I will sew half inch all the way to I get to the end. I'll come and show. I'll sew on this way. I'll open up this way too. I'll walk for equally sew on this way. Because we are creating casing for this rope to pass. This is the rope that be working with is 30 inches in length for the two. See, it's 31 inches in length. So one will enter on this side, another one will. So I will make four of this rope for this side, quality on the other second part of this gown. I'll finish it up, insert my rope to all of them, and then I'll come and show us. So, like I thought that you open this like this. And I'm going to be running a stitch like this all the way down. So I'll have my case in here. I'll place it on my machine. So this is the three inches I came down from the waist. This is where I'm starting. So that's where I'll be running. The work is to make sure you open the space very well that it's flat. And then you can go down. So you can see I'm done creating the casing. Can you see it? So this is what we have on the right side, and this is what we have. So the next thing I'll go ahead and insert my rope. The four ropes that I told you that I've cut. This is the four of them, one, two, three, four. So I'll go ahead and insert my rope. This is how I go. I put my safety pin. I'll start from this upper part. I've put I've put my safety pin here. So I'll start inserting. I'll start from here. Open it like this. I'll put my rope inside. And I'll start going down. Once I get here, like this, see, I have strong to small to this place, I will pin it down, because I don't want it to go inside, I will pin it down to secure it there, but I'm going to be running a stitch here to hold it down when I finish inserting the second one, so I'll continue now and then finish up. Once I come out here, I'll go ahead and secure here to this pin, pin it down to Mm. Yes, and so that when I remove my hair, it will not go inside. So, I 
So I'll come and do work on this place later. So let's finish up with by inserting the other road in this part. So I'll go ahead and insert this other road in this part. Insert this other road. Exactly what I did here is what I'm going to do here. I'll insert this other road in this part. Till I get to the end, then I will come and show us what to do. So, as you can see, I'm done inserting the rope to the two sides. See the rope it come out here. I've done the same on this other side. I've inserted the rope to this plate. So, the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'll take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to be sewing it down here where this job is. I will sew it down so I can secure the rope so it will not move or fall inside. Same thing on this down part too. I'm going to be stitching it down too so that the rope will not come. I will cut off this excess. The same thing I did here, I'm going to be doing here too. I will stitch it down here. And on this part where I have my chalk to poly, I'm going to be running a stitch to secure it so that the rope, this head, will not go fall inside. So I will have it secure. So after doing that, I'll come and show us. This is what the front should be like. So I will now use my hand to arrange the ruffles very well. Then I will show us. After doing, after I'm done doing that, I'll go ahead and hem this down part with one inch sewing allowance. I'll hem the whole down part with one inch sewing allowance up to this end. Then I will close the back. After that, I'll stitch the back. I'll stitch the back to this part. I'll stitch the back. Then I will open up the measurement I need for zipper. I will leave it, open it up where I will attach my zip. Then I'll go ahead and close the remaining part of the zip. Attach my zipper on this part. And then I'll show us the final. So, guys. This is what we have after sewing and joining all the pieces together. Can you see how the side is? You see how the side is going out. This is our hand. This is the neck. Shaping, you can see, it came out very perfectly. This is the other side, the second side of the gown. Can you see our ruffles? So don't forget to try this. See our ostrich feathers and our sleeve. See this other side of the ruffles looking so beautiful. So, guys, I would like you to leave a comment on any question you have on this tutorial. Tell me what you think about the gown. And please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. So my lovelies, if today is your first time of joining out of this tutorial, thank you so much for staying with us till the end of this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I so much appreciate your time with us. Do take care of yourself and stay blessed. So we've come to the end of today's tutorial. do take care of yourself until i come here again we again in my next video bye bye